10 Years a Nomad by Matthew Keppens, A Traveler's Journey Home, or as some of the people may know him as Nomadic Matt. So it's kind of like a journey to what led him to his travels, to like um, his trip to Costa Rica, the jump off point to um, what he is doing now. So like Bangkok, like he kind of like jokes, <laughs> like almost wherever like he's gone, he meets like three or, three or more Canadians. I'm like, ha. <laughs> I'm like, just because I'm Canadian, I'm like, like that point. So, like, meeting in Bangkok, Belgium, a few other places, and then him eventually quitting the job he had at that time. So, like, planning, going to Europe, um, like, meeting people and, like, the relationships that he's gone, um, places he went and the interactions he's had, like, in hostels and teaching English. Um, so, like, this is, like, a quote from, like, his trip to, like, Costa Rica or whatever. Inside the bus were five people, three Canadians, a couple, and a third wheel who they met and developed a rapport with in the Thai island of Koh Jang, a paradise that was told many times over, and a Belgian couple who were simply taking a month off work to escape the Brussels in winter. We struck up a conversation. Where are you from? How long are you traveling? Where have you been? What do you do? These are all the typical questions travelers ask each other to form the foundation of a conversation and co commonality. We bond over the one thing we know we have in common, travel. They are bewildered that I only get two weeks vacation travel, vacation a year. So what will you do with the rest of your year? You're just going to stay home, they ask. I hadn't really thought about it. I shrugged. I just wanted to get away now. I mean, I get sick leave I could use for a trip, but this is probably my only vacation for the year. I don't feel like I could afford another. Americans have the worst vacation policy, the solo Canadian travel said in Loathing. So, there's that. So, um, 10 years, that's how long I've spent on the road. To say that travel consumed my identity would be fair to millions. I was in Matthew Katniss. I was nomadic Matt. To them, I am the guy without a home or last name. The blogger, the professional travel, I don't recoil from that. I love it. My original plan to travel the world, to get traveling out of my system, and find a real job never panned out. One day bled into the next until, in the blink of an eye, a decade passed. So, you're basically just getting a story of like pretty much how he started to travel to where like him coming home and everything. So, appendix, you get 19 lessons from a decade of travel. Um, like one, it's not that hard and you get some information. You learn a lot of skills. You're never alone. Um, so yeah, um, it's, other than like the random tip here and there throughout the book and then the 19 lessons, you don't get a whole lot of like, if you're looking for like travel tips, you're better going on to like the YouTube, like travel, the travelers who have like the blogs and the YouTube channels than like this book, but you do get, um, a sense of like, um, where he's coming from and his journey so in like book form so you get that and like the interactions and lessons learned kind of thing so yeah uh 10 years uh nomad happy readings